Help support our coverage using Blueberry, the community that gives creators the ability to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get 30 days to try out the service using promo code BLUEBERRY004. That's B-L-U-B-R-R-Y-004. Hi, I'm Don Hi. Bain, the Gadget Professor, and uh, thank you so much for being here. And your name is? Maria Fernandez there from are, Dina Visual. CEO. What does Dina Visual do? So what we do, um, we Damn, have... look at you. Can we get a close-up <laughs> of her? Look at you. She's all lit up. Yeah. So we have an IoT platform, which consists of software. But the interesting piece, then, is the hardware, uh -huh. which is a bandable, very flexible, bright shining display. OK, so this is a flexible, expandable, very bright, animated LED display. Exactly, very which nice. can be introduced into many different textiles. And you can visualize almost anything you can imagine. Wow. Now. This actually, the screen actually fits into clothing. It could be a hat, a vest. could be a vest, could be a coat, could be anything. Could be anything. Now, does everything have to be integrated at once? How do you mean? In other words, would I, would I say I need vests? Do you have the vests already made for me? Yes, so we have okay. some textiles, accessories. Oh, okay, here we go. Exactly, um, where we can showcase it. Right. And the interesting thing, it's not shining. Um, not only shining, but it has a lot of technology integrated. So such, such as? We have VLAN, we have Bluetooth, we have GPS, we have a gesture sensor. Can I run video on that? Yes, you can run video on it. I can run video on it. And the very interesting thing is, not just on one display, but we can make out of thousands of displays that we connect together, a mega screen with a crowd, for example, whoa, in whoa, a stadium. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Yes. I can have 20 people, and you can sectionalize each, like a puzzle. Exactly. And when they stand together, the whole message is going to come out. Exactly. That you is can phenomenal. imagine. That is absolutely phenomenal. 100,000 people in a stadium. Have you done this? We have done it at a lower scale, and now we are looking for partners to scale it up. But we now tested you're looking it. For, you're looking for partners to invest in the company to make items for you to integrate your technology exactly All that's of those what things. we are looking for okay so if i were to uh, can i purchase this as an individual if i want to vest with the not yet not no. yet not yet so it's strictly corporations exactly what about advertising agencies also this one can be interested but then football clubs sport clubs um, event agencies and where you are you based it. out of we are based in switzerland okay Zug is the city Never and heard of that, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. It's a smaller city in Zug, Switzerland. And people can meet us here at the Swiss Tech Pavilion, uh, one floor down. Okay. Uh, where we showcase also like the stadium case, which is really impressive because it's a world innovation. We can localize people in real time via infrared. That's patented technology. And it gives you outstanding possibilities how to showcase now, mega screens with audiences. Now, do I get the software if I buy 100 vests or whatever the quantity is? Can I change that? Do I have the software to change that from ABC to EFG? Exactly. So and it's a flexible software platform which can easily be adapted. Is it on the cloud? It's on the cloud. Okay, so if I wanted to run a video, all right, I would load, upload that to the cloud and then I would tell it what time, like a digital sign per exactly. se? Exactly. That's pretty fascinating. It and is. And you could make those any size? We could make it any size. The important thing was really to integrate it into clothes. Sure. And if you use it in a stadium, imagine what you see all the time is really the head oh, of sure. the people. That's why we started with this, but you are flexible in sizes. Now, does it do, is it 1020? Is it, is it 1080 IP? Is it, what is the, you know what I'm talking about? No. Okay. <laughs> Uh, how many pixels would the video be? Can you run a video? Yes, you can run a video. So can you right run a now, video for me now? Um, not now. I don't have the technology here. I always have here. trick questions on my <laughs> sleeve. It's 
right now the screen is 512 pixels. Okay, that's one single screen. Okay. But if you imagine you have an audience of 100,000 people, right. so it would be 5.2 million pixels that right. you can use to showcase And what things. about your aspect ratio? Do you do... Uh, you can do anything you want, 16 by 9, 4 by 3, whatever you want. Whatever you want. You can decide. It can be one single person, it can be 100, it can be 1,000, it can be 10,000. So okay. you can steer it the way you want. What you're running right now uh, has always been text. So it's text, but uh, downstairs we can showcase as well videos. Okay. Yes. Because I'm curious to see what the quality of the video is. You know. Mm -hmm. it, I don't, I, I don't have a feel for that, and I want to have a feel yeah. for it. So we display at 40 frames per second. Okay. So also there, the quality standard is very high. If you would be in a stadium and you have TV cameras broadcasting, you would have a perfect view of <coughs> it. Do you have a mechanism to expand the size of the screen if I wanted a big screen or a smaller screen, if I wanted it the full length of my back on, the, on my We desk? can do that. The thing is... Bear in mind, it's LEDs which are very powerful, three times more powerful than a handy screen. Right, of course. That's why you need power um, that you Wha can show it. That's why we went up with this size, but of course, we can go bigger. You always need the batteries, which you can load then. What does it what's, what's it powered on? Pow it's what, what powers it? What size batteries? So here, four batteries are inside. And it lasts for eight hours. Now, are they, uh, what kind of batteries are they? It's the same batteries that you would have in mobile phones. So they're, okay, so they're square pack yeah, batteries. But they are, are they lithium uh, cost batteries? Sorry? Are they lithium batteries? Yes, lithium that you can charge with USB C. So the higher the, the higher the, brightness, the intensity, the more power exactly. you're going to use up. Exactly. What's the maximum time that would work at maximum power? Eight to ten hours. Really? That long? Yeah. That's good. That's very good. We now, are very proud. <laughs> at, yeah, at the end of eight hours, I can open those up, pull out the batteries? No, you just charge it oh, like your phone so with it's USB-C. Rechargeable better better it's yet. Even better because we wanted to have a sustainable product. It's not just to How many charges are we good for? Charges? How many times can it recharge? Um, like a mobile phone. Same okay. technology. Okay. Uh, do you have a ma magnetic yet? Q charging? Not yet. That's but this could be the be, next thing. Yes, that's the next thing. Instead of plugging thing. the cord in, I just lay them down exactly. on a slab and boom, they're all charged up. Exactly. Now, why are you here at CES? Who do you expect to meet or just to showcase your, your items? Yeah. Or are you looking for partners? So, we are looking for partners. Interesting thing would be like... Um, companies producing sports garments like Nike, Adidas, etc., who can integrate the technology um, in their items. Because the interesting thing is you can also um, store data through the cloud. You can get a lot of information from the users as well. But we are also looking um, for event organizers, um, for um, big um, sport event companies, for example, but also music industry. So there are several fields where the technology can be used. How do you envision it being used in the uh, music business? So the same way so that the spectators uh, will get it maybe on a cab or in another textile. And then you can imagine playing a song like Stairways to Heaven and the crowd becoming like the movie showing a stairway to heaven. Now, what's your biggest uh, deployment of these so far? So we did it at a very slow, low scale with several hundred pieces where we could showcase it at the Swiss Indoors Tennis event in Basel, Switzerland. Yes. And the technology worked. That's now, why we said now we are ready for the uh, next good step. Good for you. Now, where would someone find out more about your technology? Can, go, can they go on the website to, yes. to see this? Yes, dinavisual.com. Okay, so that's D-Y-N-A-V-I-S-U-A-L.com. Dot com. And is there a minimum quantity or a minimum of investment that you have to use to pertain, procure your technology? No, so we are very open for partnering. So far we are private equity invested. Yep. 
and that's why we are really looking for partners who will help us to scale it up and find the business out in the marketplace. Okay, so again, it's a synergy situation where they're not necessarily here to sell product. If they sell product, that's great. But almost more importantly is the synergy to find that other person who can take this technology to the next level and also utilize it, whether it's the music industry, the sports industry, or whatever it may be. I, I would imagine just, just, just here alone, the applications are, are unbelievable. You can have people walking around with the, your booth number and showing what you're... Exactly, and also for the tech companies, the big players, because they can generate big data from the users wearing it. So it's very interesting as a tool, but also to generate a lot of data and insights. Now, are these on a network? Yes. So I can address one unit or... Thousands or thousands hundreds of thousands, exactly. How long is the data transfer? So um, right now we have one millisecond and millisecond, and we want to bring that further down. That's the next development step that we are doing. Well, it's pretty fast. As it's it very is. fast. And uh, so if I wanted something, I, I'm sure I can pre-schedule this on your software. That at 12 o'clock, everybody's going to change to. Whatever. You can do that exactly. Okay. And Everything then at one o'clock it goes off. Exactly. So it's it, like a. Di it is a digital sign. It is a digital sign. Okay, and do you have your own operating system that has the controls on that, the timing and all that? Yes, we do have. So we are running our own software that has been developed and right now for all the, the use cases that we have been uh, running out so far, it was through um, Azure Cloud and Azure IoT okay. because we were part of the Microsoft startup program in Switzerland. That's great. That's, that's great. Yeah. Now, is it an app or is it on a PC or a Mac or all those? All those. Okay. Whatever you decide to have as a system, for us it was very important that's an embedded system. Very so powerful. I could be on my phone and just change at will X amount of screens. Exactly. Boom, like that. Yeah. That's pretty fascinating. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, right now you have pouches, vests, hats. What else? You can also use it just um, sign, like yeah, a badge. <laughs> you can also integrate it into helmet because we have a microphone. You are running your bike. You say left side, right side. Oh, you have wow. flashes and arrows that appear. So whatever you can imagine that you would like to visualize on textiles, wow, that's what our platform can do. We make tech really wearable. You make it fun. Uh, we make it fun. That's great. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I wish you the best of luck with that. Thank I you. I think next year I want to see everybody walking around with uh, with some of your technology. With, thank you, know, you with so much. With visuals on it. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. The Tech Podcast Network CES 2024 coverage is executive produced by Michelle Mendez. Technical directors are Kurt Corliss and Adam Barker. Associate producers are Nancy Ertz, Clinton Millsap, Sergio Velasquez, and Terry Willingham. Voiceover by Aaron Hurst. Our hosts are Marlo Anderson, Don Bain, Todd Cochran, Scott Ertz, and Christopher Jordan. Studio and equipment are provided by Plug Hits Productions. This has been a Tech Podcast Network broadcast, copyright 2024.